The standard American diet is 60 to 70% processed foods. And that processing comes with food chemicals. And a large majority of those food chemicals are things like salt, okay? Not the salt you use with the shaker, but they're putting salt in it to preserve it, okay? And most people don't know how to read food labels, so they don't even know how much salt is in it, okay? And most people eat so much processed food, they're not actually adding it all up throughout the day. So they don't know how much salt they're consuming throughout the day as well, too. And uh, we'll dive a little bit deeper than that because most people think when you have high blood pressure, it's always attached to you having too much salt in your diet. That's not always the case. Another thing is drinking too much alcohol, uh, stress, um, taking a lot of NSAIDs. NSAIDs are non-steroidal um, anti-inflammatory drugs, okay? These are like things you can buy over the counter. counter. Um, Advil, ibuprofen, Motrin, naproxen. Um, these are uh, often painkillers that people are using. People use them commonly. Like I know people who use them daily, <laughs> if not every other day. And these things will raise your blood pressure, not only raise your blood pressure, but also kill the good bacteria in your gut, which some of that good bacteria is actually there to help monitor your blood pressure to keep your blood pressure normal okay so that's really important too low vitamin d low vitamin d and roughly 70 percent of african americans and people of color have low vitamin d or at least suboptimal levels okay and vitamin d plays a key role in uh, converting an enzyme in the kidneys okay because when you get vitamin d it hits the skin it has to have magnesium to convert it there. It then has to go through the liver to be converted. That sunlight, when it hits the skin, goes to the liver to be converted. Then it has to go through the kidneys to be converted. And now you have vitamin D, active, the active form of vitamin D. Well, if you don't have healthy kidneys, as I mentioned before, now you can't convert this you know, uh, sunlight into vitamin D, the active form. Okay? So you can see how having low vitamin D and you won't have this enzyme, now you're gonna have high blood pressure because now it's gonna to start to affect your kidneys as well too, okay? Dysbiosis, and that's what I just mentioned before. Dysbiosis is having um, a lot of bad bacteria in the gut and not enough good, okay? So having dysbiosis in the gut can cause your blood pressure to be high. Also, uh, kidney issues, as I mentioned before, one in three, uh, one in three patients in the U.S., um, have kidney disease, okay? And that's one in three African-Americans have kidney disease. That's about 33%. So if we got three people here, one of them are, uh, who are African-American, one of them are gonna have some form of kidney disease. And that is crazy when you think about the fact that African-Americans only uh, represent about 12% of the American population, okay? But we represent 33% of kidney disease. Like that's crazy, so we gotta do something. All right, so let's jump into some things that we need to eliminate. What do we need to eliminate? All right, you got to eliminate things that are causing stimulation to the body. Things like caffeine, coffee, okay? That will increase your heart rate, which will increase your blood pressure. So eliminate, and not only that, coffee will also be dehydrating to you. And dehydration will dehydrate the kidneys, put more pressure on the kidneys, increase the blood pressure in the body. OK, so getting rid of dehydrating uh, and uh, stimulating uh, beverages like coffee and caffeinated, you know, drinks like uh, energy drinks. OK, getting rid of processed foods. As I mentioned before, processed foods are relatively a new thing. They didn't really come into play into like the 1950s after World War Two, when, you know, they were using scientists to create processed foods for the soldiers who were fighting because one of the big thing about wars that they knew was that a lot of the soldiers died not from you know being shot stabbed or killed they were being they were dying as a result of malnutrition okay so they created a lot of these processed foods so that when they dropped them they would last long enough okay and then they sold that or gave that information to the food industry and then you had this big boom uh, processed foods. But ever since that time, the 1950s, you have seen an increase 
and cardiovascular disease. That's when you saw cardiovascular disease become the number one cause of death in the US and then later on become the number one cause of death for human beings in general around the world, okay? And you can go back during that time and you'll see that the American president, Dwight Eisenhower, has a heart attack and then now they're trying to figure out what is going on with heart disease and cardiovascular disease because it was a new thing. It wasn't this thing that was common as it is today, okay? So getting rid of processed foods, okay? A lot of these man-made foods is a, a big thing, okay? Eating more whole foods, foods that have one ingredient, an avocado, kale, etc. cetera. Um, getting rid of those NSAIDs that I talked about before, the Motrin, the Advil, naproxen, et cetera. Those things raise your blood pressure and, take, and uh, using some more natural options. Uh, or correcting the issue, okay? Stress, managing stress. Now that you can't completely eliminate stress, but you can manage stress because stress does increase your blood pressure. Also, removing white flour and refined carbohydrates. The reason why this one is so important is because white flour, refined carbohydrates increase insulin in the body, okay? And this now, when people think about insulin, they think about diabetes. They don't think about high blood pressure, but here's why this is important. Insulin increase, increases in insulin will increase blood pressure. Why is that? Because an increase in insulin causes renal um, sodium to be reabsorbed. So you absorb more of that salt, sodium, salt, okay? You absorb more of that salt back into the body, okay? So that's the first thing. The other thing is, um, when you increase insulin, it will activate your sympathetic nervous system. Your sympathetic nervous system is that fight or flight nervous system in your body, making you more jittery, more active. Okay. You want to be chill. Okay. But if you eat a lot of refined carbohydrates, a lot of white flour, it's going to increase your insulin, which is going to stimulate your sympathetic nervous system, make you more excited. Okay. The other thing is it alters the membrane of the cell. So that when you're having this exchange of ions, which we'll talk about, when I say ions, I'm talking about things like potassium and sodium, it will disrupt the flow of those things. And here's why that's so important, because in every cell in the body, we have a sodium potassium pump. That sodium potassium pump, it does a lot for our blood pressure. And what, and what I mean by that is this, that sodium potassium pump will pump three sodium out of the cell and it will pump two potassium into the cell, okay? Now, here's why that's so important. Potassium relaxes the blood vessels, okay? So when you have this disruption of that sodium ion, you know, transport system, now you're gonna have a disruption between sodium and potassium. Sodium will cause you to retain fluid. Think of it like a balloon. The more and more water you put in the balloon, it creates more and more pressure to the point that the balloon will pop if you add too much water, okay? So more sodium, more salt. Um, you're gonna cause more water to come stay in the body. The more water, you're increasing the pressure. Eventually that pressure will cause a pop, which could be an aneurysm, which could be a stroke, which could be a heart attack. Okay, really, really important. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about the 10 foods you need to get rid of if you either have high blood pressure or you have prehypertension, which is right before high blood pressure, but you're right there, it's gonna happen. Okay, so here's the 10 foods that you most definitely need to get rid of. Canned foods. All canned foods are going to have a lot of salt. Salt is there to preserve the food. It preserves the food, makes the food last longer, but it doesn't preserve you. So get rid of all canned foods, okay? Number two, processed and deli meats. Processed and deli meats. Processed and deli meats are gonna be high in nitrates, which we know cause cancer, but it's also gonna be very high in sodium, okay? Processed and deli meats are going to cause an increase in sodium, thereby increase and high blood pressure, even red meats as well too. Number three, stay away from microwave foods. Again, they're gonna always put a lot, a ton of salt in microwave foods. So you wanna, you wanna start making your own food, 
or if you're gonna buy food, buy food that is cooked, but not in a fast fashion. That is not out of a box, a bag, a can, or jar. Okay, you wanna eat whole foods. Okay, so stay away from microwave foods.